I'm Wendy Lee and I'm a voice artist that's been working for some time in this field with uh, chip animation and anime and I started off a couple decades ago now and I'm doing a few other new things all the time and have some projects I'm working on now and Bebop is a big part of my legacy so to speak and Faye Valentine is my girl. I started off as a voice actress quite a while ago and things have really changed a lot, mostly technologically. That's the big advent is um, in the old days we used to just use our SEMPTY time code to try to match lip flaps and sync up our voices to the characters the best we could and now we have a wonderful new system that we work with, Pro Tools is the most popular system and it has all kinds of wonderful tools that we can use to match the audio to the picture and um, now we use the beep system which is perfect and works very well. It's a, an imaginary, it's actually three beeps and an imaginary fourth and on the imaginary fourth that's when the actor begins speaking and um, also, I think audio in general is, is a changing technology and it's, uh, it's really progressed quite a bit in, over the years. So I think technologically there's some huge advents. As far as voice acting, really the biggest changes perhaps are just having more experience personally is what I can tell the difference with my own work. Sometimes when I hear some of my older roles, I, I sort of get the cringes and think, boy, I would really approach the characters different today. But that's, so, you know, so is the, the arc of learning, you know. You learn over time with the different roles that you do. Um, also, I think it's a more popular field now. Lots of people really are eager to try out getting into voices. Everybody has a friend or knows someone that has a nice voice that would like to be a voice actor. And as I always say, there really is no such thing as just voice acting. It's about acting. Either you're an actor or you're not. You can't really set out to be a voice actor unless it's something that you want to do commercially, say, uh, for promos or um, to do commercial acting. And, and uh, really being an actor requires everything it takes to be um, a skilled performer. And those are the skills that we bring to uh, the audio stage, just like we'd bring it to a sound stage or, or a theater. So for the most part, things have changed, there's more people involved, and perhaps there's even more work now. Faye Valentine, she's just amazing. She's a puzzle. She's a maze. She's got so much going on. She's, she's such a strong individual, but I think underneath everything there are many, many layers um, that make up her complexity. She's, she definitely is wrestling with the little that she does know about her past and uh, where she wants to be and sort of her power center. She's, you know, that femme fatale that has so much appeal and wit and charm and, you know, she's naughty. She's, uh, she's edgy and uh, she's a, a blast to play. It, I, it just feels like second nature to me slipping into her skin, so to speak. She's just somebody you can really experience um, a range of attitudes and actions through that you might not get a chance to in other roles. So she's, um, she's been challenging but completely natural and comfortable at the same time for me. And I'm always interested in what her perspective is going to be, what her reactions will be in a scene. And I really like to dig into every little nuance in her, um, her expressions and her body language and just um, the command that she has is very appealing. I just find her so intriguing in so many ways, even now. I'm not sure exactly if there is any one thing that made Cowboy Bebop so popular, but I think there are many winning elements put together that make it a charm and a, and a big fan favorite. I think it's just the coolest show. It's got the best feel, the, the most edgy kind of rock and roll sense of um, danger and intrigue and yet it's not always so fast paced that I don't find that the edits and the action get in the way of observing and staying in tune to where the characters are coming from and caring about what happens to them. I think it's, um, 
It's a phenomenon, sort of, yet it seems pretty predictable now that you think about it when you look back in retrospect that it could do as well as it did. I think we all felt we were on to something special at the time, that it was a show that really stood apart from all the other shows that certainly I've worked on. And I had no idea it would really have the impact it's had, but I knew that this was a character, as far as Faye goes, that was meant for me and I felt very territorial about her that you know she's somebody I really understand and can process deeply and I couldn't wait to have a chance at it and I always looked forward to the next episode and the next session and anytime anything comes along for Bebop I'm there I just love the show we have a fantastic staff for our post-production on Cowboy Bebop there's no doubt about that and yes, we do hear it's one of the best dubs ever. I think the high, highest compliment I've ever been given as an actress involved in animation is I've heard many fans say that they feel that the American dub, the English dub, it really outshines even the Japanese dub. And I know that that's um, something that we don't hear often and it's regarded highly. And it's quite a compliment and honor to be a part of a production that's regarded so highly. Honestly, the quality matters so very much to me personally and to bring about every every possible um, to bring everything together in a way that it really lends itself to the quality and the outcome and the feeling of the show matters a lot and we had such a caring staff so to speak um, Every aspect, the, the writing was very, very nuanced and important and we did our best to stay as close to the Japanese as we could in every way, yet give it sort of that localized feeling of being contemporary and, and sounding like fluid dialogue. And of course it's up to us as actors to make it sound very fluid. Um, I think all of us involved care a lot about the details and the quality overall and I, I think that's what shines in the final product. I do think that anime has really grown in many ways uh, with the advent of putting it on air for Cartoon Network that certainly has helped and other channels that have been airing series and film and making it more accessible to the public I think helps a lot. Word of mouth has spread the popularity quite a bit. I think often generation to generation um, older brothers and sisters kind of turn on their younger brothers and sisters and family members and friends to the titles and they live on in the genera subsequent generations. And I think at first we thought it was sort of a fad that anime was just sort of something that was thought of as a secondary type of animation, in, at least in the U.S. And I think it's now proven that it's here to stay, that the popularity is only growing and intensifying. And it's really exciting to be a part of something like that.